Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, have Project Pan updates for you. I'm going to put two of them together today. My uh, Project Pan for uh, my uh, palette, my Go to Go palette, and Cruising with My Singles, and also my Project Pan Ipsy. And I'm going to try to get through this really fast. I'm just going to cover stuff that I have progress on and stuff that I have finished. Um, let's go ahead and just get started with the Project Pan um, for my Pan That Palette and the Cruising with the Singles. As I told you in my other update, one month, one brand, I was really sick in February, plus it was a short month, but that's no excuse on my part. But I was really sick with an upper respiratory laryngitis, and I just didn't feel like wearing a lot of makeup. I tried. I did make some progress. Pretty good on some things. And of course, I did my skincare way more, so there's going to be skincare stuff finished in the Ipsy one. So, of course, I did that one way more, because even if I was sick, I was still trying to uh, do my skincare at least once a day, if not twice a day. There were some days I could barely get out of bed. I was so sick. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, my Gilded Gold is my um, one that I picked for Pan Up Palette. And I did really good. You know, I told you I want to finish at least five out of here. I'm almost done with one. I'm almost done with Pan, which is um, this one right here. This is how it looked last month. Let's see if I can get a close enough so y'all can see. That's how it looked last month. And I am almost done with that, guys. Look. It is almost gone. And the other one um, is Scorched. I've made quite a bit of progress on Scorched. There's Scorched last month. Look at it now. It's almost all gone over there. Now, these two here, I panned in my last project, but it's almost gone all over there. These three up here, there's barely any visible progress. I did use them, but you can't really tell. So, uh, I'm not even going to bother bringing those pictures up because I checked the pictures earlier. And there's barely any progress. There's a little, but uh, not much. And I kept in on my cruising with the singles. I put in my Wet n Wild Cream Brulee single because, you know, it's, I set my uh, primer and uh, eyeshadow bases with it. And this is what it looked like last month. That's how much I've used because it was basically new when I put it in. And that is how much is left now. So quite a bit is left. Now the other ones, not even really going to bother showing you pictures. I put in, because uh, I knew on these you wouldn't be able to see much, much use. Because I'd had one in before, um, and it, you just can't tell because they're domed, they're baked, and you don't really use them a lot. This is the Milani uh, Baked Green Fortune. This is what it looks like. And I did put a little bit of a tip up here, but you can't really see it. It is real pretty. Please ignore them. I was swatching stuff earlier and forgot to wipe it off, of course. And I also put in my uh, Milani Silk and Tub, which is one of my favorite, not Milani, Maybelline favorite Maybelline eyeshadows. And there's a big, big dip over here where I was using it. I love using this on my lid, and I put the Green Fortune over it too. It looked really pretty. And there is a dip, as you can see, it's pretty flat over here, but there is a dip. I use that one quite a bit. So I'm putting that one in the wet model, and I did decently. And um, this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow, baked eyeshadow in Pixie. And there is a little bit of a dip over here, but you you may be able to see it a little bit. I did use that maybe seven, eight times, you know. Sometimes I'd use it in the crease, sometimes I'd use it on the lid. Now I am missing one. I've put out an APB, missing eyeshadow. <laughs> the uh, Wet n Wild green one, I think it was um, in Envy. I can't find it. I have looked everywhere, under my bed, in my purse. I don't know. I thought maybe I dropped it in my empties by mistake. I looked through all my makeup. I can't find it. I don't know if I accidentally threw it away. How I don't know. And I don't I don't know if maybe one of my cats, you know, Bear or JJ or Oreo decided to take it and hide it from me. So, I don't know. And there was a little bit of progress on it, so I'm kind of upset about that. But let's go ahead and I'll show you what I'm adding in um, on the Cruising with the Singles for um, March, you know. This is kind of going up late because I was sick and everything, um, but I wanted to get it up, you know, and I have been using these, some of them. Now, you know I've already added in on my uh, One Month One brand, which is Elf this month, I added in uh, this eyeshadow duo. This is the Berry Mix eyeshadow duo, and I added in the light color over here. Well, I've decided to go ahead, since I'm going to be using it, and it's out, um, I said I was going to try to use the side anyway, I'm going to add in the brown 
the cruising with my singles, even though this isn't a single technically, I'm going to add in the brown since it's already out, it's already in with my, you know, everyday makeup. And, um, I got three cover girl in here, because I'm actually running out of singles ever since I did my declutter. I don't have as many singles as I thought. I got way more pigments than I do singles. So I might be later on adding in, like, duos and trios, you know, pick a color out of there and use them. Uh, the first one I have up is this CoverGirl um, in 350. I do not see a name on here. It's just a white. And y'all know I love using uh, whites as a brow highlight. And it is a real pretty... Shoot, you could use this for a highlighter. Mm. Right here. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see it. See that? See, this is why I do this so I can rediscover stuff. <laughs> It's not overly pigmented, it's just pigmented enough. So that's two, and I'm putting in this green one, which is in number 310. Y'all know me and my greens. Love light, light greens, too. Bright green is actually my favorite color in the world. <laughs> Can't notice that. I do. Got a lot of bright green stuff. That's what that looks like. That's going to be pretty since we're going into March and spring and St. Patrick's Day. So, there's that. And the last one is a brown one, and this is in 330, and that's what that one looks like. I thought this one would be great in the crease. <gasps> it's a really light brown color. It'll be good on the, uh, since it's so light, it'd work on the uh, lid. I'll so it's really pretty, so I'm going to use that. The very next one, two, three, four. Okay, here's the fifth one I'm putting in. This is actually a duo, too. This is the Pixie Apricot Glow Duo. I'm going to put in the apricot color over here, the real pretty peach color. I've always loved this color. You can see I got a real big dip in there. Isn't that beautiful? I can see it. It's not coming up on camera. Real pretty on the lid. So beautiful on the lid. I think my, all the colors I picked. So that's my uh, Pan That Palette in Cruising with the Singles. Okay, let's move on to my Project Pan Ipsy. Um, and I also have a few things to show you at like the end. Um, that I got um, from Ipsy um, and Birch Box, and also a few more things I found at Family Dollar that I forgot to show you. <laughs> I, I tell you, I've been sick. My brain's been all over the place. On this Ipsy, I'm just going to show you some things that I have made progress in. Uh, one of the first things is my um, It Hair Care 12 in 1 Amazing Leave In Treatment. Last time I was all the way up here, now I'm all the way down here. I should have this done. Um, by my next, just gonna throw that over there. By my next update, and on my perfume, which is Jarrell Parker Classico. Last time I was right here. Now I'm there where that green is. And uh, next up is my Trust Fund Beauty in Elegant Wasted Fingernail Polish. You can see last time there, but now I am here. I used it a couple of times. I used it on my toes. I think that's why I use so much of it. Okay. And the Dr. Jart Serum Midden Cream. Last time I was all the way up here. Now I'm here. Probably only about two more uses on that. I'm trying to get stuff that I don't have to measure quite yet. Um, the NYX Liquid Illuminator. Born of Blue Illuminator and Gleam. Last time I was up here. Now I'm all the way down here. And let's see. Gotta measure that. Gotta measure. Okay, on my Smashbox Primer Oil, which is nasty right I was up to here, and now I'm all the way down to here. I just need to finish this before it gets too hot, and I don't, can't really, because I like to use it during, you know, colder months and everything. Okay. Let's get to the few things i got to measure for you. Um, first one up is my Model Co. Contour Stick, which is this right here. And I've already measured it, so I can just show you. And that is right here. I was there last month, now I'm all the way down to here. I'm almost done with that. And my Lasting Smiles Organic Lip Balm. That was, and I had great progress on that last month there. Now I'm all the way down to here. My Guava Butter, I swear I've been using the heck out of this Seraphine Guava Butter. It's, I even have it on today as a base for my, my blush. There's like, no, you can see last time I marked there, it's still there. He used so little of this. I'm going to start using it on my lips, but i got quite a few lip products in here. So, And on my Ofra eyebrow pencil, which is getting to the point I can't uh, sharpen it. It's getting so small. That's 
where it was last month. Now it is right there. Love this stuff. I got this on today. I got it on my outer and my elf on up here. Um, let's see. And my iTeeny swizzle stick. Last month was there and it's barely right under there. And that's this right here. It's that color there. And I think that's it. My pop slipstick, which is a nick you can barely see. And I've worn that quite a few times. And I am missing a lip gloss, which is up there on my nightstand. And I don't want to get up and get it. It's the uh, Trust Fund Beauty lip gloss, and you can't really see any progress in it. Everything else you can't really see progress in. Um, there are some things that I did add in. Ipsy sent me two bags last month. With Everything was the same except for one thing between both of them. One was a perfume, which is over there. So I got two of these, so I decided to put one of these in there. I'm so glad they sent me this because I, I needed something like this. This is the True Organic Pharmacy Lip and Eye Cream. And you can put it under your lip, the eyes, but it's really thick. I used to have a Mary Kay one. What you do is you put it around your mouth, and it helps with the lines and the wrinkles and stuff around here, your smile lines and all of that. And when I first put it in, which, let me see, what did I put this in? Um, 222.17. It was up to here, and now it's here. You don't use a lot. Um, the next thing that I got is the Be Fine. Fluid Skin Care Gentle Cleanser. It's got some uh, mint in it. It was up here when I first put it in, and I put it in the same day that I put in that other stuff. Now it's there. I really like this. It has a really nice smell, and it's real, real gentle. Here is something that I'm absolutely loving. This is the Dr. Grant Microdermabrasion uh, Age Defining Exfoliator. Looks like that. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing, guys. It's real finely, got real fine grains in it. It was right here when I first got it. Now it's down to here. Use it, I use it a couple of times a week, and I put that in the same time also. Um, yeah, those are the three that I put in. Okay, now I have some that I did finish. I'm sad that I finished this. This is a Shiseido Perfect Cleansing Oil, and I finished this on, where did I finish it? Uh, 220, looks like this. Really, really loved that. I'm back to using my coconut oil. And I finally finished my Monica Darsh Hair Glow. Y'all know I love this. That's why I'm going through the uh, NYX one so fast now, because I finally finished this one. <laughs> I am going to have to get up and retrieve something. I just threw it all the way over there like a doof. And I finished this one on 225.17. Let's see, and I actually used one of the, I remembered to use one of the Zaja Rose Butter Mask. And I had, I got like four treatments out of this one little packet, and I finished it on the 25th. So I got four treatments out of that little booger. And the other thing that I finished was the Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel, which is this right here. And I just got another one in, um, in my birch, uh, birch box, I think it was, or maybe it was it, I can't remember. Just got one from them. So I got another one of those, and this is kind of like the uh, Dermabrasion one from Dr. Brent, but this one isn't as good as that one. It's good, but it's not as good as that one. So I did finish that one, too, and I think, guys, I think that is it. Finished, finished, and I finished, like I told you. I didn't, I did not get a lot done. Oh, and this I finally am having to take out. The Absolute Nano Liner on, on the last day of the month of February, I decided to take this out. It's the Absolute Nano Liner. Um, Absolute New York looks like that, very thin. But this is getting to where it's very bendy and getting kind of frayed, so it's really messing up my line that I'm trying to do, trying to make it nice and precise, because I really like doing it when I do a wing or over here, and it's really starting to mess up, and it's starting to get worse, not as black. So I went ahead and took this out, too. So that's the last thing on that. Okay, that is my update on everything. And excuse me while I lean down, guys. I am so, so sorry I'm leaning down here. I dropped something else, but I can't see it on the floor. There it is. Okay. Let me get all my junk out of the way. Okay, that is everything out of my way. First, I want to show you... Um, I had a casualty today putting on my makeup. <laughs> Y'all know I got the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil and um, Seashells because I run out of my NYX Milk, you know, for an eyeshadow base. Well, this, I went to use it today, 
and I want to sharpen it, you know, I put the lid on it, and I want to sharpen it, and I must have did, moved something wrong or did it, don't know my own strength, and it broke <laughs> into the lid, so I can't use this anymore. So that's going to go into my empty, <laughs> so i got to go get another one. They're only a dollar. I love them. They work great. And there are a few things I forgot to show you the other day. Um, from Family Dollar, this is the Freeman Cucumber Peel-Off Mask. Clarifies and re uh, renews skin. I wanted to try this. It's one of those peel-off ones. I've never tried it before. If any of y'all have, please list down below and let me know what y'all think about it. Like I told you, I, I wanted to get more. That was one of my New Year's resolutions was getting more into doing masks during the week. And since I've been so sick and everything, my skin just starts to feel better. It may not be, but I feel like it is. And doing masks really makes me feel better. <laughs> and I also picked up the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Promise of Pink. Believe it or not, I did not have this. And this is what I got on over the Seraphine uh, Guava Butter Cream Blush. And I think this is so, so pretty. Absolutely in love with it. Y'all know I love Wet n Wild Blushes, so we already knew I loved the formula. When I saw this, I'm like, that's actually one I don't have. I think I got them all now. Isn't it pretty? It builds up nice, and it doesn't really have any fallout. And the next thing was this LA Colors Contour Palette. It looks like that. And, you know, it's got the highlighter, so that's the main reason I bought it. And this was um, only $3 for this. That's the main reason I got it was the highlighter. I'm like, if I can't use this, oh, well, you only pay $3. The highlighter is it. I got it on today. You could build it up to get more of it in your face, but it's really nice, natural, subtle highlight for day to day if you do like just one, you know, but I built it up a little bit, not much. But I decided to swatch this. I did a real light swatch. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try that. This is what I have on as my contour today, and I'm actually loving it. I don't know why, but it is working for me as a contour. It really is. It may look like it wouldn't. But it does. It's heavy. It's a heavy swatch. But it's working really nice. It's really finely milled. And it blends out really nicely. This, I do not know why I got it, but I did. It's, it's pretty, I guess, is why. This is their um, LA Colors Shimmer Bronzer. And this is the Morning Radiant. Looks like this. And as you can see, that is a top coat because I. I knock some off. Before I tried to knock the rest off, I wanted to show y'all what it looks like. But yeah, that's all glitter. It's all a glitter top coat. I hate when they do that, but I'm going to go ahead and knock it all off and, you know, try to use to use it. But this is a swatch of it. It's a real pretty bronzer color. So, that's what that looks like. I think this was only $2. Maybe $3. I can't remember. And they had one more color. I found one more color of the uh, LA Girl Liquid Lip Color, the matte one, and this is the one in Danger, and this is what I have on, and I'm in love with it. I am, uh oh, am I on a, please tell me. My lipstick is on, yes, it is. Just a little bit. I took a drink before I got on camera, that was a bad idea, because it hadn't dried <laughs> down. But this is the one I have on right now, and there actually is a swatch right here, this is what I swatched earlier swatch over it again. I might just scrub to get this off my hand. But that's what it looks like swatched out and that's the, what it is on my lips. And I love the powder brushes. They're kind of big but they fit my lips perfectly. But they had another color so now I got three and I only the color they had was the uh, was this and then the nude one. They didn't have any other colors. So I don't know if they got more than what I've got now or or what. But I think that, yes, that is it that I did, that I got. Let me get that out of the way. Um, and also, on my eyes today, this come in, I got this from Ipsy. This is INT Cosmetics Int Goddess Gold Eyeshadow. This is what's on my eyes. I think some people could probably use this as a highlight. It's a little too dark for me to use as a highlight. But it is very, very pretty. When I saw it, I was like, ooh, that is pretty. It is very, very pretty. It's very soft, very pigmented, went on very nicely. 
and let's see what else did I want to show you that I thought was neat. This I haven't even bothered to open. This is the, uh, let me come in my, uh, merch box. Naked Smoky Revealed. And I can't get it open, guys. Ugh. Come on, open up. So good, guys. I'll give you a more in-depth review. And oh, here is the Tarte uh, Trust Fund Beauty, um, the one in Method to the Madness. It's here now. I think I'm about right here. Just look, I can kind of see it, but not really. So that's why I didn't mark it yet. And then um, on my eyes, I have the LA Colors Matte Palette. 
mixed with that um, INT eyeshadow that I just showed you. Oh, and I forgot to show you one other thing with the other LA Color stuff. I got on the LA Colors Drama Lash Mascara. And that's all I got on. I didn't put any, uh, you know, I don't even see. <laughs> I didn't put on any lashes today. I was going to, but I couldn't be bothered. That's what the brush looks like. It's kind of a wet formula, and, and I prefer more dry, but let it sit for about a couple of days, and we'll try it again. I really like it on the bottom, but it says drama lash, but it's not really big drama lashes, but I want to only put on uh, two coats. So I'll keep working with it and let y'all know what I think. And I got it on my LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette. I got that on as my bronzer. And, um, where's it at? This one's set in my under eye today, actually. Because I forgot to grab my under eye setting powder and it worked really well. Um, and also a little of the banana powder, too. My e.l.f. brow pencil, y'all know this. I also used the e.l.f. Uh, illuminating or shimmering facial whip underneath my, um, highlighter today. And I showed you the blush I had on the pearlescent ink blush that I've just got. And as my, um, eyeliner down here, I have on the e.l.f. green, emerald green, or jade green eyeliner. That's my green eyeliner and my pop of color. Y'all know how I love a pop of color. And align my lips for this very dark lip color. I have on the Ulta Beauty lip liner. I have the one on in Berry, which is this end right here. Lining my lips. And it is really nice. And that's it. Besides for the lip color, which is the matte LA color lip lacquer in Danger. That's what's on my face today. Thank you all for hanging in there and waiting on me to do the update. <laughs> I'm sorry it took so long. Um, hopefully it won't take that long next time, and hopefully I'll get a lot more done this month than I did last month. Hopefully I'm not going to be sick and everything this month. Knock on wood. Sorry, I had to do that. I always do it. <laughs> but, like I said, comment down below if any of y'all have ever tried any of the, anything with the snail stuff in it. I, I want to know y'all's opinion on it. Please, I, I need to know before I put it on my face what y'all think. <laughs> I don't have really some smooth skin, but I want to know what y'all think. And you think it's a gimmick or if it really does work. And like I said, it doesn't have a smell. So, but I just think the packaging's cute. If nothing else, I'll empty it out and just keep it, for, put it up on my desk over here. And also, let me know if anyone, anyone's ever used this Freeman Cucumber Peel-Off Mask and what y'all thought. Because I've never tried it. I've tried other Freeman stuff and liked it. So let me know what y'all think. And pretty soon I will be doing a recently hauled, you know, video because I have my husband get every, all this stuff for me for Valentine's Day. And I am using it pretty much every day. At least something from it or a couple of things from it every day. And I'm going to let y'all know, you know, what I think about these things really soon. And some of the stuff that um, that I just added into my project in Ipsy, I'm going to review a few of those things. Uh, too, like the Dr. Brent of Regression is really good, but I want to review some of it for y'all, but, um, if there was anything else in here that you would like for me to review, please let me know, you know, if you want to see first, let me know down below, um, but, yeah, that's, I think that is pretty much it, yeah, but I am thinking about, since I have got, what was it, three mascaras the past week, I probably would do one video dedicated to the three mascaras, because I have Three different mascaras, three different opinions. So, you know, because they all work differently. So I'm probably going to, I'm thinking seriously about doing that. But any other questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for sitting through this long-ass video. I apologize, guys, but I wanted to get it all, all up and out there. Um, email me if you have any questions. I love you guys. You can hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to stick around for a while, hit the thumbs up if you want to. You don't have to. But um, remember... We, I'm probably going to start saying this because I heard it the other day. Remember, we are all beautiful on the outside. It's what's inside that counts that needs to be beautiful, guys. I'm kind of changing them a little bit, but it's what inside that needs to be, what's inside that needs to be beautiful. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later.